Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today I'm going to be answering the question, how to properly wash a man's dress shirt. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. And if you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it right down there below. And if you want to get more, if you want my free 47-page ebook on men's style, that's down there as well. And if you want even more, I've got more. It's a 600-page, 400-image, 14-hour premium ebook, and it's almost like a course. I get people emailing me all the time saying it's great. It's not free, but it does support my business here in Wisconsin, and it comes with continuous updates, and there are some bonuses attached to it that uh, you can use on future offers that I'll be having, so uh, hint, hint. Okay, this is a question that Brian has been asking me multiple times via multiple channels, so I have to get to it, and I have to admit that I almost felt that it's something that I I thought everybody knew how to do, but apparently people want to know how I am cleaning my dress shirts. And that's a pretty good question, I guess, because most of my dress shirts are pretty pricey or, well, I get them at a pretty big discount because I design them and we build them ourselves, but how do I deal with dirty dress shirts and when do I wash them? When do I determine if a dress shirt is due dirty? So that's what something Brian was asking because I mentioned that down here in the studio, I've got a few dress shirts that I, I leave down here and I'll put them on and I'll wear them multiple times because usually I'm only wearing them maybe 30 minutes to a couple hours each time when I'm down here and then I'll take them off and wear something else when I'm going around the office. So uh, Brian's asking, well, how do you determine when a dress shirt is dirty? And I think that's a good question. Usually I will look around the neck and the, uh, the cuffs. That's where I'll start to see it you know, dirt in deposits, uh, usually from, it comes off, you know, just comes right off of your skin, oil and, you know, grime as, as you're going through the day, stuff that, you know, picks up from the air. That's where I first notice. Occasionally, I'll get a coffee stain or something on there, but most of the time, it's going to be, I see, start to see a little bit of ring around the collar. Now, how do you determine if a dress shirt is dirty? When should you wash one? And why is this important? Why don't you just wash it after every wear? The reason that's important is because Think of your dress shirt as having a very limited life because it does. Every time you wash that dress shirt, you've got only so many more times you're going to be able to wash it before it falls apart or it becomes unwearable. So I like to tell guys, think that you can wash this dress shirt only 100 times. Now, how many times you can wear it, it between those 100 washes is up to you. I find that it depends on how much I'm sweating, how long I wear it in the day. If I wear a dress shirt only for a couple hours, I'm going to wear it a few more times. If I wear that dress shirt and I've been wearing it for a 12-hour day and I've been sweating, I can look and I can feel that this dress shirt needs to be washed. So that's the only, probably the best guidance I can give you. It really depends on, I mean, if you're an architect working outside down in Florida during the summer, you're going to want to watch wash your dress shirts every single day. If you're up in Victoria, you know, uh, up in Canada, and you're working outside only a couple hours a day, and you're mostly in a controlled environment, and you're sitting at a desk most of the time, you may find that you could take that shirt off at the end of the day, and it's not really dirty at all, and wear it two, I, I would, maybe three days uh, over the period of a month and be fine with it. What I am saying, though, is try not to wash your clothing unless it is truly dirty and it's going to last longer. So having said that, also avoid the dryer. The dryer is something that's going to destroy your high-end dress shirts. So you should let them hang out to dry. Uh, again, don't use the dryer. And if you have to use a dryer, pull them out while they're still moist. Avoid bleach. Bleach that's cool for undershirts, that's cool for socks, but not for high-end dress shirts. It eats away at the cotton. Also, avoid heat. So don't wash them in hot water. And you've probably heard that, okay, bleach in hot water, that's gonna help remove stains. Again, that's good for socks. That's not good for high-end dress shirts. Avoid overdoing it with detergent. Most detergents are pretty safe, but anything that you put a whole, and as guys, we like to think, oh, well, this is a dirty shirt, and if one scoop go is good, then maybe five or six scoops is even better. Don't waste your money. It's better to wash it a couple times with 
less de less detergent than to think that you know you can put in five scoops and get it all with with one time going through. Okay, so how, what do I use? One use a good detergent. I use Tide. Uh, I've used some lower end detergents, and I find that. Oftentimes, they just don't, I mean, you often get what you pay for in detergent. A lot of people are going to say, oh, well, with Tide, you're paying for the brand. Well, it's a small amount of money for the amount of time that it takes me to go back and see that it missed the stain and have to go back. Also, look before you put your shirt in the wash, make sure that you look for any stains and you spot, you've got one of those, uh, they have these spot sticks where you can actually go ahead and apply a little bit of detergent. I'll oftentimes take just a bit of detergent and rub it right in with a toothbrush. It, we've got a toothbrush down there in the laundry room and I can just rub it right in and it will uh, go in there and set for a few minutes before I throw it into the wash. I also use OxyClean, and if you haven't heard of it, it's a great product. It basically augments any type of uh, detergent you're using. So if you're using a lower end detergent or one that isn't really getting the job done, OxyClean will really go in there. Be careful with it and don't use too much, and use it on a dress shirt that does not bleed. If, if your dress shirt bleeds, you're going to find that OxyClean may make that thing a much lighter, it may, it, it'll take a red shirt and it'll make it pink. So be careful with OxyClean, but if, you know, a, a dress shirt that is lighter colored, this may, and in many cases, helps a lot, especially with uh, anything around the collar. Now, when it comes to armpit stains, if you get any type of yellow armpit stains, that's often caused by your deodorant. There's this stuff, it's called Diogo. And I know the, uh, the, the, the guy that, uh, that has the company here in the U.S., this is specifically made to remove yellow armpit stains. And I know the Art of Manliness, they just, did a, uh, they just did an article on yellow armpit stains, and I wish they would have tested Diogo, because Diogo really, the best thing about it is that the armpit stains do not come back. If you use Oxy, uh, OxyClean, occasionally the armpit stains do come back, and I've also noticed this on other stains with OxyClean, is that it will remove them, but I think it more, uh, it, it doesn't exactly fully remove the stain, it leaves some type of uh, debris that can later on take back to the coloring. So this is specifically made for armpit stains. I haven't found anything out there that's specifically made for a ring around the collar, but OxyClean does a great job of removing that. And for just general washing, just a bit of Tide. And by the way, you can use even less than they recommend. I oftentimes only use half as much detergent as what they recommend. It really uh, is a bit of overkill, I think, for most uh, most efficient washers today. Okay, so that is how I clean dress shirts. And by the way, I do not put them in the dryer. I let them hang out, and then I will iron them, la iron them later. I like to iron, actually, my dress shirts when they're a bit moist. And uh, all right, I wish you guys the best of luck when you're washing your clothes. <laughs> and if you have more questions about men's style, go to menstyleqna.com. That's my new Q&A site, and we've got a lot of great information there. The best questions and answers are rising to the top, and I'm going to make videos from those. So I'll see you over at menstyleqna.com or down in the comments here on YouTube. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.